Hey guys, so this is day two of our second week, session one, uh, T-Rex training program with levels one and two. So we'll be progressing some of our skills from last time as well as moving forward with other skills. Um, so as always, we're going to do a safety topic. I know we didn't do one last video, so we will be doing one today. Um, it's the same one as last time, but we're going to be talking about it a little bit differently. So I know we talked about that too much sun is no fun. And with this, um, we're talking about sunscreen and the importance of wearing it. But now I want to talk about what we can do to protect ourselves from the sun in other ways. So other ways we can do this is wearing clothing that protects us. So if you have any ideas, um, pause the video and discuss this. Otherwise, some ideas I have are wearing a hat to protect our face from the sun, maybe a swim shirt that protects our arms, um, some swim shoes that protect our feet. Um, you can also wear like a towel, um, something like that that protects us from the sun as well. It's important to drink lots of water in the sun too as these summer days have been very, very warm. I know today was about 97 degrees, so we need to be keeping cool in the sun. All right, so um, our review uh, from last time, we were practicing our arms and leg movements. So remember, we are continuing to develop our front crawl. And today I wanna to talk more about how we're doing breathing for this. Because sometimes our head will be up when we're practicing this at first with our front crawl and not in the water. But our goal is actually to have our head down in the water. So especially when we're doing our front crawl, when we're doing our back crawl, we don't need to worry so much about breathing because our head is already faced out of the water. But with front crawl, we are going like this. It's called rotary breathing. I talked about this a little bit in one of the introductory videos, but it will be elaborating it on it a little bit more in this video. So with doing the front crawl, we're going to have our faces underwater, and you're going to come up to the side as your arm comes out. Take a breath and go back down. And the same thing on the other side. You can come up, take that breath on that side, and go back down. This is called rotary breathing because you can breathe to each side of your body depending on how the stroke takes you. Usually one side would be preferable um, than another to some people. It might feel comfortable to breathe to your left or to your right. Um, so the same thing with breast stroke. So we have a little bit different. <clears throat> so I told you it was like the stroke went like this. So as soon as you go down like this, that would be me going underwater. So right now I'm above water and I'd be going so every time you do a stroke, you're underwater and then you come up for the breath. So your stroking goes with the breathing, so it's a little bit easier to breathe on this one. Um, so that's the breathing for that. And um, those were kind of the new skills that we're gonna develop and learn um, more into, into this area. So another important skill we're learning today is treading arms. So I don't know if um, anyone knows what this means, but this would be without a life jacket in deeper water. So right now we practice in more shallow water just to get the feel for what our arm and leg movements are. So if we're treading water, this means we can't touch the bottom. We don't have a life jacket, but we need to stay above water. The goal is to have our head above the water, but nothing else has to be above the water. As long as our head is above the water, we are safe. So the treading water arms goes like this. It's kind of like you're putting icing on a cake. This is how you would tread your arms in the water. Now your feet, I want you to practice this just on the dry land, or if you're in the water, in the water. Now, your feet can either be doing this movement, same as we do with the bat crawl, or you can do a flutter kick. I find it easier when I tread water to go like this, as it gives a little bit less effort, and it's easier to stay afloat. Now, if this is hard for you at first, which it might be, it is a hard skill to learn, Make sure your head is back because then you will be staying afloat more if your head is tilted back and up towards the sky. <clears throat> so another thing that's important with this skill is to always wear a life jacket because right now um, we are not quite sure how to tread water. Um, we're learning in this swim lesson how to tread water, but um, as for right now, we need a little bit more skills to be able to do that. Um, <clears throat> so I also want to talk about uh, rolling over with our arm movements. So developing more of these skills, we're starting to get into a full stroke. So what we want to do, or what we're talking about today, we'll be doing a stroke and then flipping over to doing a different stroke. So say you're doing your front crawl. So we're doing our front crawl with our flutter kicks and alternating simultaneous breathing. Then on one stroke, we take our arm, flip our bodies, just like we did with the starfish roll, and then we start to do our back crawl with our 
flutter kicks. This can be practiced in a life jacket or with help from mom or dad on the back to roll over and start the next stroke. We can also do this starting with the breast stroke and flip over to our elementary back stroke, which was this one. All right, so that is what I have for you guys today. That's the end of today, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. We'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.